all right what is up y'all today is monday august 12th and today is a fun day i'm just gonna have fun um i, don't, I didn't have anything scheduled so i just got an order i told you guys i don't like to leave my house unless i have an order so i got uh two dispatch orders i'm headed to it now it's about nine o'clock and uh like i said i didn't have anything pre-scheduled so we're just gonna have fun do what we can do my wife is doing my dealer's route and um before we get the day started, I just want to say thank you to mainly my loyal subscribers. There's people that have subscribed to my channel when I first started and early, early in this journey. And I know I, I have an idea of who they are. I, I'm not even going to try to begin to name everyone, but you know who you are. Um, some of you guys, I literally will post a video and within seconds i'm getting thumbs up and i know those people they they do it on every video they truly do support me i'm not saying you have to support me um i just really do thank you and appreciate your support uh, the channel's growing i think we can make it to twenty thousand uh within the next two or three months if it keeps growing at the rate it is but that's because of you my channel doesn't grow unless you support and you know those thumbs up really help push it to new viewers i'm getting a lot of new viewers and i'm excited for it because this is just one step towards helping somebody that you know potentially could change their life and that's what my channel is about i'm not promoting the cargo van uh i've never promoted the cargo van i'm not saying go out and get one I promote freedom so i'm not going to talk much about that uh, i may explain more of that on real talk part three but uh, i just want I, I felt compelled to say thank you to you guys um I, like i said i can't name everyone but i know i have an idea who they are uh, they have been loyal some of you guys have never said anything in the comments but i know you support and those of you that give me those thumbs up right away I, I i love it man thank you so much i appreciate it and that's motivating to me when i when i see that that keeps me going uh some people think it's easy to make these videos and you know it's easy work it's a lot this is a full-time job uh making content it's a full-time job i take it very serious i like to edit all my videos i try to do the best i can give it a nice professional look smooth transitions all that stuff i want it to flow right um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And if you can see behind the scenes, if you can see what I, all I do to make one video, you'll be like, man, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but I enjoy it because I know it's helping somebody and I only got to do it once. So once I post the video, that video's out there, it's out there. And you know, whoever's going to see it's going to see it. So anyways, I don't want to be too long on that. Thank you guys, man. I just, I just had to say, thank you. I appreciate it. So hopefully with your help, we can get to 20,000 and uh, just keep helping people because you're you're helping me help others by liking the video and supporting the channel. So anyways, uh, let's go get this order, man. All right, y'all. So I just had a little bit of traffic. Uh, so while I was driving up here, so basically I got two dispatch orders and um, they're at two different Home Depots. So at one of the other, so at the second Home Depot that I have to pick up from, they just sent me another order from that same uh, pickup. So I basically got three orders now, one pickup, which I'm going to right now, and then the uh, the second pickup has two, uh, two pickups, or the second store, second Home Depot store has two pickups. So we got a total of three orders now. All right, y'all, we're at the pickup. And I believe I have one pickup here and then the other Home Depot will be two uh, pickups. And I think I could do all of them, pick up everything and then do the deliveries after, so we'll see. So I'm gonna park, uh, park over here. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. 
later. All right, so we got uh, 11, 11 cans. And I did have to wait a little bit, about 10 minutes. Just gonna load this up. I like how my floor is in sections. So this is like section one. My next order will be section two and then section three in the back. So this is one order. You can use a marker uh, to write on it if you need to, but um, I, I know what order needs to go where. So um, the line separates it, section one. My next order, I'm gonna put it right here. Section two and then section three. Very organized. All right, y'all, just drove about 10 miles and uh, y'all seen this one before. So I'm picking up two orders here. Gonna make this nice and quick, hopefully uh, in and out. All right, y'all, so just real quick, I just loaded up. Uh, I separated everything, like I said, section one, section two. Uh, these are six cans and then 11 cans right here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 15, these are 15. So you don't have to do this because I already know the stops, but um, I told you guys that, I told you a while back, there was a guy that was picking up from PPG and he had multiple orders going to multiple different locations but he wasn't separating the paint he was just throwing it all in there mixing it all up so this is what i do this is what you can do just so you don't get confused like i said i don't need to do this but i just did it anyways so my first stop dispatch will show you on the route what your first stop is so i just go to the stop and the name of the street it starts with a w I think it's like Walter Street or something like that. So I'll write W, so I know that's the street name, and this is my first stop. So I put that on all the cans, so I know that that's the stop for um, my very first stop. My second stop is this one. That's based on uh, dispatch. It'll route you automatically. So this is my second stop, and that's the name of the street. I think it's Crockett Street, so I put a C. So I put those on all the cans. And this is my third stop. I don't have to put the street name because it's the last stop. That's something you can do. Uh, like I said, I don't have to do that because it's not like a really big order, but I've had multiple orders before and that's a great way to not mix up the paint. You don't want to do that. All right, man, let's go. Let's knock this out. All right, y'all, I'm pulling up to the drop off. Um, I, I just thought of something. So while, while I was picking up, uh, I did a video on my, uh, I ranked the 10 apps that I'm active on, I ranked them from 1 to 10. Uh, 10 being the worst, 1 being the best. And uh, while I was picking up, uh, I've been to this Home Depot quite a few times and I've actually kind of built a relationship with the person that does those orders for Home Depot. He organizes the paint orders and uh, he, I, to be honest with you, I know that he likes when I do the pickup because he knows the job's gonna get done. I'm always on time. I'm organized. He's seen my van and he sees how organized I am. And he's always happy to see me when I show up. Uh, not to down or talk about any other drivers, but that is something that is gonna help you when you're on these gig apps. So a lot of people get frustrated. Um, just to be honest with you, dispatch could do whatever they want. They can assign orders to whoever they want. If they have top drivers, they can send all the orders to them and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, that's just how the business is. And I always do a good job and I, I, I would not be surprised if dispatch actually calls these customers, Home Depot and say, hey, or they email them and say, hey, can you rate that delivery? Can you let us know about that driver? How was it? Were they nice? Were they rude? Like you never know what they're doing behind your back. So just keep that in mind. Basically always work with a good attitude and you know, it, it's gonna pay off for you. So that's all I gotta say. So I'm, I'm dropping off right here, this house that's under construction and uh, should be quick. I already called the guy so he knows I'm here.
Sí, ya cuando, cuando yo empiezo ya a pintar, te vienes para acá. That should be 15, right? Yeah. Okay. This is. This is oh, yours. Yeah. That's correct? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Enter. One. y'all we are all done we just dumped it in that room right there uh right where that um bobcat thing is whatever the thing is so uh very easy that took like three minutes so hey uh well you guys saw two guys helping me so all right man headed to the next one uh, i believe we're dropping off the 11 11 cans next I don't know what it is about driving through downtown, man. I just, I love it. That, I'm gonna just tell you, there's a lot of things I love about this cargo van. One of them is the ease, it's so easy. A lot of the, the, the work is so easy, easy money. Uh, two is the scenery. Yeah, I drive all over town. Um, I meet different people. I'm doing different orders all the time. Different, I'm in different situations. I love that. Um, and then, I don't know what it is about forklifts, but every time I see a forklift loading my vehicle with a pallet, man, that's just, I don't know what that is. I love that. I, some of y'all can probably relate, but it's just a really good feeling when you see that forklift dropping that load in your van, man. It, I, don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like I said, some of y'all can probably relate. But this is fun, man. I, I just enjoy what I'm doing. It's very easy. I literally just invested in this vehicle and it changed my life. I'm having fun I'm working at my own pace, doing orders that I want to do. Um, man, I love it. <laughs> I, I can't, I, I'm not trying to sell nothing. I'm just telling y'all, I absolutely love this. Real talk. Alright y'all, so I am pulling up to the drop off, uh, this area don't look familiar, I don't think I've been over here before, that's another thing I like, it takes you, you know, these deliveries take me places I've never been before, so, I like that, and then I like, you know, you always discover stuff too, like, oh man, I didn't know we had that here, or some type of restaurant or something, uh, I think we're going to another house, yeah, this looks like a house, so another, uh, remodeling house I'm assuming so this should be pretty quick I'm gonna drop this off and head to the last stop oh yeah yeah this little house right here I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but I just got these few cans. I'm putting it on a uh, 
on the patio. It's just one guy in there painting. I told him, keep working, don't worry about it. All right. All right, y'all, we're all done, headed to the last stop. Uh, I do have plans of going to, uh, this is the uh, Frost Bank Center. This is where the Spurs play. Uh, I think they added Chris Paul this year, if I'm not mistaken. So, Victor Wimbin, yum, yeah. Him and uh, Chris Paul gonna be together. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll see. I do plan on catching the game, though. And I am not a Spurs fan, just so you know. I'm just going for the entertainment. All right, y'all, I'm about uh, two and a half miles out from my uh, drop off. Uh, so dispatch sent me an order uh, driving. I forgot the name of the town, but it's past Austin. It was like 138 miles. The pay was like 209. Uh, they actually added a bonus, so it's 220 right now. Uh, I'm not interested in those type of orders. So I've already explained that. Um, there are some people that like those though. They do those. So my thing is, uh, I actually had an offer from Jump Logistics, who I kind of I kind of quit running loads for them, but they still send me offers. They wanted me to go to Houston, like 200 something miles, for $300, which is actually uh, better pay than they normally offer. Um, I turn it down. So I would have drove about probably a little over 500 miles and just to make $300, which it's not even going to be $300 because after gas, it's probably going to be like two, about 240. Um, and then, you know, that's going to take about six hours of my time. It's not worth it to me. I, I my strategy is to drive as few miles as possible but the highest paying orders I can get for the fewest miles. That has worked for me. Even if they're smaller orders, $30, $20, whatever, if the drive is only like two, three miles, uh, you're gonna profit. So like today, I'm probably gonna drive about 60 miles total compared to over 500 miles. And I will reach my goal today. I'll be over $200 if I include my diligence route. So it just makes sense. Uh, I work, I do what's logical. Um, a lot of people jump on orders just because of the pay, but they're not doing the math to see if it actually makes sense. So that's, that's your right, you can do what you want, but that's how I operate. And I've been profiting tremendously by sticking to the plan. So I like to stay local. I try to stay under hundred miles. And uh, most times I do. And uh, it's been working out for me. I turn those down all the time, every day. All right, uh, I just arrived at my uh, drop off. It's gonna be this uh, church building. Um, I think this is the right place. It's only one car in the parking lot. So I, the address is saying it's right here. So this is where we're going. Calvary Church. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I didn't even drive around the back. I probably should have drove around the back. But uh, I don't think anybody's in here. <sighs> oh, it's open. Oh, man, I don't think anybody's in here. There's somebody here in the sanctuary. Mm, it's 
lady, I don't know what she's doing. She's talking like she's praying or something. Uh, I don't know where to go. Oh, you know what? Let me just call. That's probably the wise thing to do. It's a nice building. I don't want to disturb that lady because I don't know what she's doing. She like she reading something. Hello, is this one? Hi, uh, I have a paint delivery for you at the Calvary Church. Uh, it's what? It's not a church? Oh, on the side of the church. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, next door. Yeah, right in front of it. Oh, okay, so just... Okay, I'll, I'll drive in there. I gotta make a U-turn go around, but I'll come in there. All right. I, I'm in a white van. Um, are you... Building 20? Okay. Okay. I, I should be there shortly. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but uh, I called the customer and he said it's these houses right across from the church. So they gave me the church address. So I'm at the right address, but it's next door. He said building 20. So I got to make a U turn. I can't make a left right there. It's a one way street. All right. Let's get over there. All right, so I made a U-turn, driving into this new community. They just used the church address, because maybe this doesn't have an address yet, I don't know, but that's where I was at, that building back there. So, he said go all the way to the back, building 20. I don't see no, these are addresses. So I'm just gonna drive to the back and hopefully somebody flag me down, because uh, I told him I was in a white van. Uh, what y'all think about these houses? These are very unique. It looks like duplex homes. So it's like, yeah, they're duplex homes. They're connected. But um, I don't like, uh, they're all the same. Every last one of them. I don't really like homes like this, man. They need to switch it up. Different colors, different style. There's a couple different styles. Look at this one. The, the, the stairs are right when you open the door. As soon as you open the door, it stairs. I don't like that. This one got a three car garage. Yeah. I don't know what y'all think about that. I don't really like that style. These are all identical. They all look the exact same. All right, I found it. They flagged me down. And hey, this will be a quick drop off. Okay, gracias. Right here? Okay. Jesus. 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 All right. Photo. Good. All right. Gracias. Okay. <clears throat> All 
right y'all we are done uh i'm actually gonna end the video now i want to continue working without filming um so i'm uh, gonna jump on the roadie map and see what i can get or wait for uh, a decent order to come out um so i am at about 170 dollars right now with when i count my dealer's route as well so i only need to make about 30 bucks to reach my goal um it's 12 o'clock so i do have plenty of time i'm actually gonna go meet my wife we're probably gonna go eat lunch together uh because she's she started my route pretty late so we're gonna eat lunch and then i'm gonna work probably till about three o'clock so i will reach my goal um but yeah man i just wanted to document a couple jobs i'm just having fun today today's kind of a chill day um i do have my moving job so i told you guys i have a moving job going to houston and that job was set up by a uh, direct it's a direct booking and it was set up by a customer a regular customer that promoted my business and got me that job so i'll be documenting that job that's the only big job i have scheduled um i, I actually had a moving job scheduled for last weekend which was yesterday but um uh, end up canceling the customer just wasn't communicating good enough so i i don't want to mess with it but anyways, I'll talk about that another time. So anyway, that's it for today, man. Y'all have a great one, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Later. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to share this. So I told you guys on my last video, I did my top 10, or uh, you know, I ranked the apps from one to 10. Well, one of the apps that I used that is, I actually uninstalled the app because they suck, was Halltail and they just sent me a request for tomorrow to it's a junk removal picking up three bags doesn't have much details and um picking up in fort worth uh i don't know where it's going but they want me to drive all the way from san antonio to fort worth uh my price for that is fifteen hundred dollars and i'm not even joking so <laughs> I was thinking about sending that message and actually doing it. I'll do it for $1,500. Uh, you, uh, Hall tell you name your price. So you tell them how much you'll do it for. And I don't know how they determine, but you know, if they agree to it, they'll pay you. And they pay you through, uh, they pay you through PayPal. So I don't know, man, what y'all think? Should I send it? I say, hey, $1,500, I'll be in Fort Worth tomorrow and take care of that order. What y'all think? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think I'm going to do it. I, I wouldn't do it anyway. I don't want to go all the way to Fort Worth. But for 1500 I know they're not going to do it for that anyways. But I don't know. I might just, just to mess with them, I might do that. We'll see. I'm going to tell them. $1,500. i will let y'all know what happened next video. <laughs>